Hello, welcome back to another five films reviewed fast, or whatever I called this series, you know. My, the dog wants to be in it again, so which is five. So the first film of the five that I've watched recently is Poor Things. This stars Emma Stone and Mark Ruffalo and some other people. Um, it's directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who did The Killing of a Sacred Deer, The Lobster, The Favourite. And it was just a really good film. The story behind this, we went to the cinema to see this and there was a power cut in the last 10 minutes of the film. So we didn't get to see the ending. So I had to, you know, go on some very sneaky websites and watch the last 10 minutes of the film recorded terribly with terrible audio just so I could finish this film because I, I needed to finish it. I couldn't wait to like, you know, I, I needed it. Um, I really enjoyed this film. I gave it a 9 out of 10 or a 4.5 out of 5 because I genuinely... It was just a really bloody good film. It was kind of weird and wonderful. It was like a futuristic setting, but in the past. It was really, it was a lot of fun, actually. It was really fun. The next film I saw was the reboot of Mean Girls. Um, was it worth watching? Yes. Was it particularly good? No. I know that it's like based on the musical that's based on the original. I don't think Mean Girls was made for this generation and it didn't really work for me as a film. I haven't seen the musical personally, so maybe it works as a musical, but as a musical film, it just didn't do what it needed to do. Um, but I didn't, I didn't hate it. I gave it a six out of 10 or a three out of five. Like it, I enjoyed the time I spent watching it. It didn't feel like a waste of time. I was engaged by the film. I wasn't bored or anything. So I wasn't terrible, you know? It was just, if you are expecting a straight Mean Girls reboot, this is not what you want to watch. The next film I watched, it's a bit of a rogue film for me. It's not really my type of film but I'm uh, trying to watch all the BAFTA and Oscar nominated films. And that is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, which is two hours and 44 minutes long for a part one. Is this indicating basically a five hour film? Absolutely. Does it need to be five hours for two films? No, not even close. This didn't need to be two hours, 44 minutes long either. It felt stuffed, but it was actually like a good film. Like I enjoyed it, the action was good. The story was good. Hayley Atwell and Tom Cruise have incredible on-screen chemistry compared to, I have seen some of the past Mission Impossible films where Ethan Hunt has a love interest or at least like a woman that he protects with his life because he's so nice, he's such a gentleman. But these two actually like are a really good pair on screen. I really enjoyed that. And I gave it a seven out of 10 or 3.5 out of five. You really want to get involved. What films have you seen? What films have you seen? Have you seen Paw Patrol? Have you seen Paw Patrol? Oh, switch shoulders, sir. And the next film that I watched was a short film, a BAFTA-nominated short animation called Visible Mending. It's basically about how knitting is kind of therapeutic and good for well-being, but like the animation is like knitted characters. It was genuinely really enjoyable to watch. It's only like five or so minutes long and I really enjoyed it. It was really well made and I'd love to see it get a BAFTA, honestly. It's not Oscar nominated. They skipped over it at the Oscars because it is quintessentially British. But I did genuinely really enjoy it and I would recommend you go and check that out. It's just, it's just a cute little kind of five minute thing. And the final of the five films is still a Michael J. Fox movie, which is based on the book that Michael J. Fox wrote a couple of years ago now about his kind of life and it's a documentary basically about him and his Parkinson's and it wasn't anything groundbreaking in terms of Michael J Fox material because if you've read the book you kind of know the film but it was a really well put together film I think they did a wonderful job with that and it also showed him with like other people which is nice rather than just hearing him tell a story it was like his interactions with other people, like his family, with doctors. Like a lot of it's based on him and his wife, which is really nice. Like it is a really well put together film. And I gave it a four out of five or an eight out of 10. And those are the five films that I watched recently, reviewed reasonably fast. I hope you enjoyed this because I watch a lot of films. So I'm gonna keep doing this because I enjoyed doing it the first time and I enjoyed doing it the second time. So there will be a third time. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you've seen any of these films, let me know how you feel about them. If you haven't, what films have you watched recently that you've enjoyed? Because I want to know. Leave a comment, please. I beg. And we will see you next time. Bye.